Hey, what's up, ladies? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's going on? So, this audio, what you're about to hear is a clip from my new audio program, which is called 15 Reasons Why You're Not Married, which is on my Bad Girl membership site, on my membership program. So, in order to hear this whole clip, you have to become a member. I'm going to show you how you can become a member after you hear this clip. But what this clip is about, it's talking about how a woman's verbal game, like how you communicate with guys, um, actually matters when it comes to men really wanting to commit to you and be in long-term relationships with you. So I'm going to play this clip, and after the clip, I'm going to show you how you can um, get this audio program. All right, check this out right here. Now, this is this is this is so important, and I I, I need to spend just a, a, uh, some some time on this because you have to you have to feel where I'm coming from with this. You got to feel this, okay? Now, when I say you have poor conversational skills, when it comes to your conversation skills, right? What I mean is this: from the beginning of when you are interacting with a guy, your conversation skills have to be on point generally in, 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 in various different situations. That means that your conversation skills have to be on point even when you are rejecting a guy. Your conversation skills have to be on point when you are trying to express what you want from a man. See, a lot of times, you, you know, the reason why you, a lot of you ladies don't get married or don't get in committed relationships is because you have not had enough practice with your verbal game. So since you haven't had enough practice with your verbal game, what happens is, is that you have a sort of like an automatic you're, you're, you're sort of on autopilot when it comes to having certain conversations or certain interactions with men. And then being on that autopilot mode, it basically hinders you from having or creating situations for you to have, uh, you know, a, a really good uh, interaction and or, you know, relationship or build a relationship with a man. So I'll give you an example. If you're walking down the street or you're somewhere and you know a guy is trying to talk to you and you just ignore him or let's say you know you you kind of like brush him off or you scream at him or you like oh get out my face or whatever any of those type of things that is the the beginning of you really having poor conversation skills because even if you're not into this guy there's a way that you can have an interaction or dialogue with that guy to make it more um and it's not even about technically about him per se it's about you because what it is is that you need to get into a zone or you need to get into a habit of knowing how to talk to men because what's going to happen is, is that you keep brushing off guys ignoring them acting like you don't need to say anything and oh whatever fuck you and get out of my face and blah, all this other stuff that you know most of you ladies have done you've been in those situations and i know you're going to say well there's guys that um come up to me and say disrespectful stuff and this and this and that yes we know this i, I understand that goes down but for you what you need to do is you need to get into the habit of knowing how to diffuse those situations. You got to get into the habit of knowing how to politely tell a guy, I'm not interested. You have to get into the habit of being able to acknowledge a man. And the reason why I say this is because the guys that you're not interested in talking to are just as important as the guys that you are interested in talking to. Because what happens is, is that if you're talking, if, if enough guys come up to you with that you're not interested in and you communicate with these guys that you're not interested in or they're trying to talk to you and you're trying to ignore them or whatever or, you know, trying to, you know, you don't really know how to diffuse the situation or whatever, you know, you're going to have, mo in most cases, more situations where you're talking to guys that, or guys are coming up to you that you're not really interested in. And then you're going to create this habit of responding to men. 
you're going to create this habit of just responding to men a certain way. So when you do get approached by a guy that you might sort of like or a guy that you're, you you say, okay, I, I'm kind of into this guy. What happens is, is that you're so used to responding a certain way that, like I said, the, the autopilot shit starts kicking in. Then the guy that you actually like receives the same type of verbal communication that you did with the other guys that you didn't like. Because you're, 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 you're already in that frame of mind. You've conditioned yourself to respond to men this way. So even so, so then next, you know, you know, you're talking to a, a guy trying to talk to you and you're like, you know, you're like, Hey, this, wait a second. I'm kind of attracted. To, I'm attracted to this guy. Sort of. I'm, 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 I, I see that I kind of like him, but I don't know what to say. I don't really know how to, uh, you know, re, you know, communicate that or keep that going. Because not only, let's say, you know, let's say, for example, you, you, you know, guy comes up to you, you're on autopilot, you're kind of ignoring him, but then you're like, wait a second, I kind of, you know, I, I'm attracted to this guy, and then you kind of say, okay, I'm going to talk to him. Then you talk to him, then he's trying to have a conversation with you, but you haven't had enough practice to have dialogues with men to be able to, for him to say, well, you know what, I'm actually interested in in this chick like yeah she's cute and she's actually saying something so I'm, I'm really excited to to talk to her that's not gonna happen if you have not had practice communicating with men so it's not about just being nice or just being polite to the men that you like it's about being nice being cordial being polite knowing how to communicate with men all across the board even if you don't like them because that is what is going to help you you're training yourself, you're training your mind, you're training your verbal, you know, your, your verbal skills or whatever to be prepared for when that guy you do like comes to you. So when that guy you do like comes to you, you're already on ball with actually knowing how to communicate to men. You understand this? So then when you get that guy that you actually like and he's there and you're communicating to him and he's like, oh my goodness, this girl is actually on point and she look good. I'm trying to fuck with her. I'm trying to get with that. And that can lead to you actually being in a committed relationship with a guy and getting married. But see, the lack of your communication skills and, and having poor communication skills is what is going to, you know, make it harder for you to communicate with guys when you actually get approached by a guy you like. So now I'm going to I'm going to show you, ladies, how you can get this program. OK, so the first thing you need to do. Is you need to go to mrlocario.com and it'll take you to the home page and then you're gonna click on the members tab then you're gonna go over here to where it says women click here to sign up this is gonna tell you all about the membership it's gonna basically tell you that every month you're going to get a new program audio or video that is going to teach you everything you need to know about the dating game right so then you're going to click on PayPal. Once you purchase your membership, it's going to give you a password. Once you get that password, you're going to go back to MrLocario.com. Then you're going to go to where it says members, and then you're going to click on women log in. Now I'm already logged in, so it's going to give you a page that says a password. You're going to put the password in, and you're going to be logged in. So you're going to be on this page. And if you join today, what you're going to get is... The Ultimate Online Dating Guide for Women. You're going to get How to Avoid Being a Woman Men Just Want for Sex. You're going to get How to Attract Men Who Want to Commit to You. You're going to get Five Things You're Doing to Scare Men Off. You're going to get Three Types of Men You Should Avoid. You're going to get How to Get Your Boyfriend to Make You His Wife. You're going to get How to Attract the Man You're Attracted to. You're also going to get How to Take Control of Your Love Life. You're going to get that video right there. You're also going to get this next video, which is how to get what you want out of the dating game, which is a workshop slash seminar that I did. You're also going to get 10 ways to tell if a guy really likes you. You're also going to get how your attitude affects your dating game. And you're also going to get what we just heard, 15 reasons why you're not married. And then you're also going to get a new program every month forever. Okay, so that is it. That is how you make it happen. If you have any questions, hit me up at askmrlocario at gmail.com, and I will holler at y'all later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace.